First tonight at 10, the end may be in sight for the trial of four men accused of plotting to kidnap the governor. Today, the prosecution gave a timeline for when it may rest its case, but there's still several more witnesses to get through. Two men who flipped on their co-defendants were on the stand today. Damning testimony Thursday from two men who at one time aligned themselves with a group accused of planning to kidnap the governor of Michigan. Ty Garbin and Caleb Franks have both accepted plea deals for reduced sentences. Garbin knows his fate, but Franks has yet to be sentenced. Defense attorneys, though, fear the two men may be sweetening their stories for even less time behind bars. My guy didn't agree to do anything. Right. I mean, are they just making things up at this point? If they're describing your client's actions when he well, wasn't the there? the toughest thing is when they, they combine lies with the truth, and that's when it's really hard to discern what's what, right? But you'll be able to piece it all as things move forward. Oh, yeah, and I think the jury, the jury yeah. is. Franks testified that he had spoke individually with each member of the group about their plan to kidnap Governor Whitmer, saying each of them felt justified in carrying it out. Court resumes in the morning with Franks still on the stand. The prosecution estimates they could rest their case as soon as the end of next week. And Fox 17 will have in-depth team coverage throughout the entirety of the trial. You can find it all by scanning the QR code on your screen or click the link at the top of the Fox 17 homepage. That's fox17online.com.